Next on the Marian Catholic News, sophomore retreat and enlightening event. Trunk or treat a big success. Choir performs for everyone. And we celebrated Mass last Friday. All of that and more coming up next on MCN. I'm Sarah DeShepper and I'm Trinity Slaughter and this is the Marian Catholic News for the first week of November 2024. Hello Spartans, welcome back from the weekend. We are now in one of the longest continuous stretches of the school year without a break. That's right, three and a half weeks of school until Thanksgiving break. If you are feeling a little stressed, please reach out to someone for a little help. Your mental health is very important. Well, last week was Halloween and we hope you all had a safe night. Here at Marion on the 30th, we hosted a trunk or treat for all the little kitties in the neighborhood. Let's take a look at that right now. We would like to thank everyone that came out and enjoyed the treats on this very windy day and look forward to seeing you all at our next event. This past Friday, we celebrated All Saints Mass. It was a wonderful experience to open our hearts and let in the Word of God. Here is a brief look at our service. Thank you to all those of the Spartan community that came to join us. We look forward to even more of you in December when we will celebrate our last Mass of the year. The Marian Catholic Fine Arts Department is hosting a Visual Arts Mixed Media Workshop on November 23rd. This workshop is open to students from 6th grade through 12th grade. It will be held in the art room from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m. The cost is $15. All are welcome. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Hammonds in the art room. Student groups, would you like your information or important dates mentioned on the air? Please let one of the staff of MCN know before Monday mornings about any event you would like to have talked about on the MCN News. We would love to let everyone know what is going on with you and your group. And speaking of student groups, the Marian Catholic Choir took the stage this past Halloween afternoon to give a short concert for our students. Let's listen in on their performance. Great job, choir. We really enjoyed your performance and look forward to many more in the future. On November 12th, Marian Catholic will be hosting For Marian, a full day of giving to help support our scholarships and endowments. On that day, we ask that you wear your Marian gear, follow Marian Catholic on social media, and make a donation to the school. We will have more information for you next week. 
The Spartan Gold Raffle is still going on. Have you sold your tickets yet? Any tickets not sold will be added to your tuition. So instead of that happening, get out there and sell your tickets. You will then be entered in a raffle for an Amazon gift card. With Christmas just around the corner, everyone could use a chance at some extra cash. And speaking of extra cash, the Queen of Hearts is still hiding. Tickets can be purchased at the ticket machine at Bellagio's or the bar at Rudy's. Will it be your week to reveal the Queen? In national news, as we film this, it's one day until the election, and all the polls say it's going to be a close one. We hope you got out to vote and will continue to do so whenever our great nation has an election, or even if it's just for a local official. You do make a difference. In a rare event, the United States could be looking at a November hurricane. Right now, it's just a tropical depression that could form into a hurricane, Raphael, but alerts are going out for the Cayman Islands and Jamaica. Normally at this time of year, hurricanes have a tough time forming due to cooling ocean waters. In sad news, legendary music writer Quincy Jones passed away on Sunday evening. Quincy had written music for various artists such as Michael Jackson, Frank Sinatra, Ray Charles, in addition to numerous film and television scores. Quincy Jones was 91. And we will be right back with weather and sports right after this. And now let's head over to Riley with the weather. Riley, what's happening this week? Well, Sarah, it's going to be a real mixed bag of weather for a bit. As the leaves fall, so will the rain at least today and later in the week. Temperatures will remain relatively present as with highs in the upper 50s and lows in the upper 40s at night. The week will be dry until Saturday when we can expect rain to roll back in. We will also get a short break from the wind after Tuesday's rain moves out and things will be a lot calmer. However, they will pick it up again on the weekend. So hold on to those umbrellas, everyone. Now let's jump over to Mark with sports. Thanks, Riley. As fall sports continue to the playoffs, our football team heads into the prep bowl. They will play on Friday at Carmel Catholic. It's a long haul, but let's get out there and support our Spartans. Tonight, our women's volleyball team is in Kankakee for a sectional game against Providence. It will be a tough battle for the Lady Spartans, and they can really use your support. Let's give a big shout out to our cross country for the first time in Marion history, two men have qualified to go to state in the same year. Daniel Casperin and Peyton Stoffergen will be our representatives. Congratulations to them and to Coach Sovereign. We will be wishing them well with a hall walk on Friday. Now it's back to Sarah Trinity. Thanks, Mark. So what if you went to a parade and nothing happened? Well, that's what took place in Dublin, Ireland last week. Thousands of people turned out for a parade that did not actually exist. It seems the person responsible for circulating the news saw that there had been a parade previously and assumed there would be one once again this year. Unfortunately for all those in attendance and waiting for something to happen, this was not the case. Seems that the trick was on Dublin this year. And I'm Sarah DeShepper. And I'm Trinity Slaughter. And this is the Marian Catholic News for the first week of November 2024. Happy, Happy November, November, Spartans! Spartans.